morning, warriors. Good morning, people and faith of God. We thank you for joining our prayer line. God is good today. He allowed us to go through a weekend with his blessing. He allowed us to go through a weekend being with our family, hearing from our friends, hearing the word of God. And he is greatly to be praised. We want to welcome all callers today. <clears throat> we welcome our brand new callers. You are so welcome to Rise and Pray. Lives depend on it. And we thank you for taking time out this morning as you arise out of your sleep to give us time to hear what thus says the Lord of hosts. We also welcome our returning callers. Your faithfulness, God sees. And we just thank you for being faithful. We don't take it for granted. Today, I want to go to Philippians, the second chapter, starting at the 13th verse. For it is God who is working in you, both to will and to work according to his purpose. Do everything without grumbling and arguing so that you may be blameless and pure children of God who are faultless in a crooked and a perverted generation, among whom you shine like stars in the world by holding firm to the word of life. And I want to focus on verse 14, do it without grumbling and complaining. I want to share a testimony that the Holy Spirit spoke to me this weekend um, and led me to talk today to spread it. He said, tell my people. And I, I am dealing with some challenges in my life, and I'm sure you all are too. But this weekend, I chose to be silent, and I chose to hear the word of God, and I chose to seek his face. And I didn't think anything of it until the, uh, Saturday afternoon. He says, thank you, my child. You did not complain. And because you did not complain, I will bless your house. So my topic today is express, don't complain. And I understand that it's the pandemic and everybody's dealing with financial issues, spousal issues, children issues, keeping a job issues, mortgage issues. We have the list and the list goes on. And some of us have been taught in the times of old that we don't say a word. But God says in his word, come let us reason together. And I used to always question that when I was young because I used to hear so many times people telling me, nope, you don't question God. Nope, you don't, you don't complain and you don't say a word and you're supposed to be positive and you know, the Bible teaches us to, you know, speak the word of God, but God revealed to me this weekend, the book of Psalms is a reminder that the Bible is real. The Bible is real by one. They address God in the book of Psalms. They're describing their complaint, and they readjust. They request for help, and they express trust in God. And that's where we may miss it, is that we are not expressing our trust in God. And how do we express trust in God? We tell God and remind God our memories of how God has delivered us in the past. We are grateful. We are thankful. We thank you that we, him, that we are the land of the living. We thank him that even though we're going through struggles, that he is our father and he is concerned about every area of our life and that he didn't bring us this far to leave us. 
So I want to remind you, while you are going through your situation, through your frustration, through it, some of us may have been in darkness so long, and it seems like torment, but God's saying express and do not complain. Remind God how good he has been to you. Remind God you are grateful that you at least in your refrigerator have a piece of bread and something to drink. If that is all you have, praise him for what he has done and praise him for what he is doing. May we bow in prayer. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, our oh Father, we just want to thank you for, first of all, allowing us to be on the land of the living. We thank you, O oh God, that we are alive, we are well, we can think through things, and we can move, because everything we do, O oh God, is in you. Lord God, we bury our frustration in our faith. And God, we thank you for the reminder in the book of Psalms that shows that, God, have you forgotten me? But yet you, it is a reminder to say that we need to acknowledge you as Lord and that we have testimony of all the things that you have done. Help us to focus more on the testimonies and the memories and sharing the good things. Even if they are small, help us to continue to focus on that more than we are focusing on our trials. Lord, we want to thank you, God, for being so faithful and kind to us. We want to thank you, God, that we understand that to be in the complaining zone is a place of danger. Father, we just want to thank you, God, that every time, hallelujah, that we complain, we are walking through the valley of darkness even more than what the trial really is. Lord Jesus, we surrender everything to you. We repent, Father, for our faith and mixed in with our frustration. But, Lord, we exercise more of our faith. Father, we thank you, God, for this day. This is your day. And this day we surrender every trial, every tribulation, every situation to you, O oh Lord. To you, O oh Lord, we give you our trust. And we know that. In the midst of trial, God, as you have shown me, you give us revelation. You give us songs. You give us hymns. You give us scriptures. So, Lord, help us to stay in the realm of light and not walk through the valley of darkness without you, God. Father, we know that you are in the midst of everything that we are encountering, even until today. Father, go with our families, God. Go with those that are tired, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, help us, God, to be sensitive to our neighbors, to be sensitive to our friends. Father, help us to meet the need for the hour in the name of Jesus. Father, I take authority over the enemy. Father, to bombard our mind, hallelujah, with depression and frustration and, and anger, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you today, God, that the answer is in your spirit. Father, help us to be still and know that you are God. God, I thank you, God, for your word, a fresh word that comes from heaven. I thank Thank you, God, Father, for the song that you are going to give all your people. I thank you, God, for the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit, and that we do not take this Bible as just positive words, but understand that there is frustration, but most of all, there is glory unto you. There is praise unto you. God, there is greatness unto you, and even through our frustration, even through our trials, Father, we put you as Lord of our life in the name of Jesus. Father, we're asking that you would go with each and every home that stands open in your name, in the name of Jesus. Help us to be witnesses to our neighbors. Help us to be witnesses, Father, to our friends. Help us to be witnesses to those 
relatives or the elderly father that sees nothing but darkness. Help us to be that glimmer of light in their life. Lord God, and also teach us, hallelujah, to not hide our frustrations, but to cry out to you so that we can help our sister and brother in Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, God, for this day. We thank you, God, hallelujah, that we are able, more than able, to do your will. And God, Father, we're going to express our voice to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you to come into our lives when we feel overwhelmed in this hour, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, God, Father, we thank you for the past of how you have delivered us out of all the trials and tribulations. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, how you delivered us out of financial issues in the name of Jesus. And God, you are still that God today. We are the voice crying out in the wilderness in the name of Jesus. Today, we thank you. Today, we praise you and give you glory. Today, you are Lord of our life. In the name of Jesus, we will not serve any other God in the midst of this. We will not retreat back to the old ways that we used to be. Oh, Lord, Father, let blessing come out of our mouth. In the name of Jesus and not cursing, Lord, in Jesus' name, help us to hide our and you, God, for you are Lord in every battle. You are Lord in every trial that we come against. Father, go with the court cases. We have known you, Father, to drop in the cases that have happened, Lord, recently. We've known you, God, in the name of Jesus, to drop your mallet and say enough is enough. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. Drop your mallet, hallelujah, on the finances in the name of Jesus. Drop your mallet in the name of Jesus. If there is confusion, frustration, hallelujah, anger, anxiety in the house, in the name of Jesus, let there be peace. Oh, God, we thank you for the fire of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, God, for the blood of Jesus in this hour. And, God, we're going to be reminded today as we go through our day, we can express uh, but don't complain uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord God, we thank you. We praise you for being Lord in our situation. We thank you, God, uh, for being our Father uh, that we arose this morning uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, and the first words uh, that is coming out of our mouth, uh, hallelujah, uh, is thank you, God. Uh, for another day in the name of Jesus. And God, today I sit as your warrior. I kneel as your warrior in Jesus' name, interceding for your people, asking for your forgiveness in this hour. God, hallelujah, we thank you, God, that your spirit is real and your power is evident in Jesus' name. And we side with you today and not the enemy. Hallelujah. Walking and complaining in darkness we will not no longer do, but we will walk in light. We will give you our frustration and express all blessings. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, our Father.